to the best. So here's here's the other little wrinkle in this. This Wikipedia user who says he's Ryan Kavanaugh, and I actually believe it is Ryan Kavanaugh for the following reasons. He said, this user said that he was filing a third lawsuit against us next week. That was the first and only time I had heard that. And sure enough, the third lawsuit comes out, which leads me to believe that this user is, in fact, Ryan Kavanaugh. Of course, it's not confirmed, though, just to be clear. He said, um, I have, he said that he's complaining to Wikipedia editors. I have pressed much more recent and copies of the legal actions against H3 for attempting to disseminate these very same falsehoods. If you would like to review them, as well as copies of the legal complaints sent to YouTube, which ultimately resulted in them being banned with two strikes for a week, and now hopefully permanently. Twitch is also reviews, reviewing the same info for a ban. So why this is important is because, once again, it proves that Ryan Kavanaugh is trying to deplatform me for criticizing him. He is sending legal complaints to YouTube to get me striked, to get me banned, permanently banned, and also Twitch for no fucking reason other than to just deplatform me so that if YouTube does suspend or ban me, then I won't have anywhere else to go. Like, Twitch, like, I've not, I've not even broadcast any of this shit on Twitch. He's fully going for the full cancel. Here he says, my page is Ryan Kavanaugh. So, you know what I'm saying? Also, the user is RK, and he's been, the, the user's been editing the Ryan Kavanaugh page a lot. So, there's a lot of reasons to believe that this, this person is, is actually Ryan. But again, it's um, unproven, but, you know. <sighs> so, again, he is not the victim. This is a nonstop sustained attack on me, my livelihood, and my right to free speech and fair use. From the very inception of this legal battle, when he put out that press release, it was an all-out war on my American rights. My God-given rights as an American citizen. <laughs> Yeah, so you guys want to read this article finally? Because this article he published is a fucking roller coaster, bro. Yeah, he and then he posted this as a little teaser before. The dark side of social media. You know what I find ironic? Ryan Kavanaugh is the figurehead of Triller. The dark side of social media is not like young women, uh, unaliving themselves or people you know the like how the dark uh, you know people getting sucked in losing their self-confidence becoming obsessed with their online persona no that's not the dark side of social media the dark side of social media is this one guy saying mean stuff about me <laughs> like how out of touch can you be bro that's the dark side of social media is ethan saying mean stuff about me and this guy's in charge of Triller. He wants to be the new TikTok. And just to show you how in touch this guy is. Like, you think this guy's actually ethical and responsible enough to head? Actually, he is. He'll fit right in with Zuckerberg. and He'll run it about as good as Zuckerberg. What we really need to worry about on social media is, peop is this one guy, Ethan. I'm the meat chef. Tomorrow I will be publishing an article that speaks to the harm and damage irresponsible people like H3H Production can cause through social media, once again tagging me. It's time for some changes and for someone to put a stop to people who use their social powers to intentionally harm others. How about you using your status and money to fucking try to stomp me out of existence through the legal system? For the first time, I can say I am suing H3H Productions. This boomer-ass fuck puts a... URL and Instagram description, which is not clickable. <laughs> and then the final, the cherry on top, of course, is before I read this, is that, okay, so this is fucking, this is when shit, this really tells you all you need to know, okay? I actually, here, let me pull up the Instagram post. It's, it's linked in the doc. I have it highlighted, if that's easier. That'll be faster. So I posted a nice picture of me and my family, my son, on Thanksgiving. 
Okay, this should tell you everything you need to know about this guy. I posted a nice photo of me and my family on Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Love y'all so much. So thankful for everyone, family, crew, audience. So thankful for all I have. Peace and love. Ryan Kavanaugh goes back to this post, this Thanksgiving post of me with my son. And links the fucking URL, unclickable URL, Bruh. under the fucking photo. Bruh. Someone said, did you really just comment this under Thanksgiving family photo? Jesus Christ, dude, you are sad. This motherfucker went to my family photo and linked his URL. Congratulations, Ryan Kavanaugh. You are our showman of the year. Right. I just wanted to remind everybody that this is what he was doing on his Thanksgiving while you were spending time <laughs> with your family, was posting 10-year-old articles about how cool he is and crossing <sighs> out <laughs> the date. Wait, what is, the, what is this you keep sending? He's, he actually said... So, yeah, someone commented on one of his posts yesterday. Um, I put in the doc, and he responded by saying that you got popular uh, from a podcast where you ate your own poop. I did? Not that I recall. <laughs> I have no memory of that. <laughs> the exchange Wait. is pretty epic here. It's he says, it was really good, and the interview you did really sold it. People come from the H3 pod and think you're a douche when you're just doing your job. They just got to give you a chance. Solid guy. Yeah. Right. Well, we suspected that. Okay, whatever. I'm not getting it. So he says, thank you. Anyone who blindly follows that guy just clearly has a lot of hate in them. And that's, bro, you're the one that came to my family photo on Thanksgiving. <laughs> and posted the article with my son in it. Has hate in them and has too much time on their hands to listen. Too much time, bro. Don't get me started, bro. <laughs> so this rambling nonsense and troll people. After all, he's a guy who built a podcast on eating his own poop. And making racist, Classic. homophobic, and xenophobic comments. Classic episode. Hold the fucking phone. You don't remember that? That was epic when you did that. When you he's a guy. Shit live on air. He's a oh, guy man. who built a podcast on eating his own poop. <laughs> that's your thing. That's, that's your thing. You, Is that that's defamation? How you that's how you know. It sounds a lot like defamation. Unless he has some footage of you eating your own shit on the podcast. That sounds like some defamation. No, no, it's, eat that poop -poop. it's all true. You guys, foggy memory or something. I remember I, what happening. I, Does he mean the old H3H3 H3 Productions video? That's the only thing I can think of. But So yeah. the, the foot soldier that sent me this uh, suggested that maybe he mixed up on After Dark 59 when we were talking about Nick, uh, Nick Akato shitting himself. But so, how is that? He says he gets to eat it. That yeah, is a stretch. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's got to be the, the old H3 video. But that video is so old, and I'm pretty sure I removed it. I guess they've been trying to do some, like, recon to try to fake up dirt. It is removed. I, mean, I have it. Maybe the eat the poop. That's from, like, soundbite? seven years ago. I made a video with Frank, Filthy Frank where it was the, there was some challenge going on, and we said, oh, wouldn't it be funny if we did an eat your own poop challenge just to show how stupid all these challenges were? And I had, like, a melted Snickers that I was pretending was poop from, like, seven years ago. <laughs> right. Shot in my small apartment. But, like, to say I built a podcast on eating poop, I'm assuming. But, but like, it's so weird. He's doing deep research, and that's what he dug up. This is sick. He's a big fan. That's been my theory all along. He's actually a big fan, and he's just hurt. Isn't he also a Barbie, or was that someone else? A Barbie? Like a Nicki Minaj? No, yeah. A Barb. A barb. <laughs> oh, a Barb. A Barbie? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Stan Culture is getting to Ryan Kavanaugh. It's true. <sighs> that's a weird comment. Yeah, someone asked if that's defamation, and he said, no, I believe it's called defecation on himself, smiley face. Oh, <laughs> that's funny, but it's also is defamation because i don't know what the fuck you're talking about that's defamation by the way talk about too much time on your hands you're arguing with people on instagram fo f followers i don't even do that <laughs> and apparently i have a toy podcast with all the time on my hands in the world no it's called defecation on himself what are you talking about <laughs> got him that's a zinger ryan good job i pooped my pants i'm gonna sue you fucker you said i eat my own poop
Yeah, well. Eating it, poo poo. <laughs> By the way, so just to clarify here about this, this was, I would say it's unconfirmed, but like, so the user sent it. He, blo he after tagging me all day, he blocked me, <laughs> which may have removed his comment on my post or he deleted it. Right, because we couldn't find we it. We couldn't find it last night, but the guy who screenshotted it sent it to us, and it does look real, but it's, I guess I should just say it's unconfirmed. Oh, wait, is he talking about, like, my first ever video? See, that's what I was thinking, that he went, I like, really deep on you. Wait, he's really went back to my first Mr. ever video, and he's saying, I built my podcast on eating poop? Deepa! Ah, oh, whatever. I mean, that was the first domino in a way, I guess. I guess, I guess in a chain of events. Yeah. Like I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say I built my podcast on eating poop, there may, there may have been some intervening events after that, but yeah, I mean. I want to sue him for that just to see their evidence. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the discovery. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's caused real damage to me, saying that I eat my own poop. Yeah. It's a huge reputational hit. <laughs> What is otherwise a sterling reputation on the internet. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, you joke. Right?